Hello YouTube and Facebook people, welcome back to my videos. Today is a haul video and it's a cumulative, cum cumulative, <laughs> it's a cumulative, oh goodness, glasses do not make you smarter. It's a cumulative haul video from about a week's work, worth of uh, thrifting. It's from several different thrift stores and garage sales, and I will try to remember where everything's from and the prices because I just have it all mixed together. Um, I don't remember. There might be like one thing for Poshmark, but most of it's just for myself or Chad. <laughs> um, yeah, so I will go ahead and get started. Sorry, this was like the longest, weirdest intro. I am tired with a headache like my head is just that's why I'm wearing my glasses today um but anyway the first thing is actually from today this morning I went to New Horizons aka my honey hole um right when they opened this morning and I gave myself an hour and a half to go thrifting and I actually made it out of there in an hour and 15 minutes which is crazy for me but my main objective was to get Chad some work clothes he recently started a new job, well, a second job. He is still a mechanic, but he's also started teaching college level entry automotive shop. So as a teacher, he's gonna need some nicer, to me this stuff is nice, but some nicer stuff than he normally wears to work. So I got him some button up shirts and each one of them was $3.99. First one is the brand 5-4. I have never heard of this brand, but like I don't, I really don't thrift guy stuff to flip. I'm rarely over there. So it's just this, you can barely see it, but it's black and white checkered short sleeve shirt. Um, when I do go over to the guy section, the only thing I'm really looking for is smart wool and Arc'teryx, and I kind of ignore everything else. Um, this next one is just a Van Heusen. Again, $3.99, size extra large. I really like this one. I think this might be one of my favorite ones for him. Another one for casual Friday. Because I know on Fridays they're allowed to wear short sleeves, and I'm not sure about every other day. Um, next is the... What brand are you? No brand. I'm not sure, but it was size extra large, $3.99, and it's this blue and cream checkered button-up. And how I was looking for his clothes, because he's kind of a, like, just a bigger, sturdy guy. <laughs> he's got broad shoulders. So I went through all of the extra larges, and I found patterns and colors that I thought he would like. And then I went through them again, and he's got really long arms, so I checked the arms to make sure they'd be long enough for him. And then I went through them again and made sure they had longer shoulder areas. So it was quite the process getting him some clothing. The next one is the brand Travis Matthew. So yeah, like a lot of these I'm not gonna know because I'm not really into reselling men's clothing. And it's got the little logo, I guess, on the back. But I like this one. It's almost like a chambray, but it's a lighter material. He's more into blues and gray colored clothing. This one is a Tommy Hill figure. I really like this one. Again, $3.99 is the thing. Tommy Hill figure. And this one's got a little more color than I, I don't know if he'll be okay with. But it's a nice shirt. And then lastly, this one I know he'll like. It is the brand Horny Toad, which is now Toad & Co. Toad & Company. But it's like a grayish blue colored button up. So those are for him for work. And then I will go ahead and do my clothing that I got. And those were all New Horizon. This one is from The Ark. It was not on sale, but it was only, sorry, <laughs> it was only $4.99. And I forget the um, the style of this. Oh, do I want to show you? I've got my regular shirt on top, but I'm wearing pajama shorts on bottom. <laughs> but it's one of these really long open vest cardigans. 
and like it's got the big slits on the side. This I'm going to try out for myself because I really, really liked it and I wanted one of these. But if I end up not using it or wearing that often, then I will put it on Poshmark. Oh, I just almost rolled over my dog. I didn't know she was sleeping behind me. Next is this jacket. And I will put, um, I do outfit of the days on my Instagram. And I will show you a lot of this stuff because I really, really, really like it. And it's kind of like fall stuff, even though we're not quite there yet. I'm there. I'm ready. It's just a requirement size medium. And it's like this paisley. Is it paisley or filigree? I always get them mixed up. I think it's paisley. Um, zip up jacket. And I really liked the bottom hem of it. How it's got that little cutout. It's really cute on. It doesn't look like much just like this, but it looks really cute on. I think this with a pair of dark skinny jeans and a boot would be really really cute um another did i tell you how much that was i don't think i told you how much it was it was 6.99 um and from the goodwill a few towns over this was from that same store and it is the brand elements and it's a large which it did end up fitting because it's more uh, vintage um, style or size so it fits a little smaller than a large it was $8.99 but it's so stinking cute I love this jacket it has um, arm pads shoulder pads in it but I kind of liked the look of them it's just this plaid trench it's a trench length no I can stand up again um, let's see how far up does it go it goes to just above my knees which I think is the perfect length it doesn't have the belt with it, but I don't think I would wear the belt anyway. But I thought that was so, 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 so cute. And another thing I've been looking for, Chad's been helping me look. He actually found this for me over in the guy section, is this vest by the brand. I don't think that's the brand. It says Genuine Leather, but I don't think that's the brand. Do you have a brand? No? Not sure. It was $12.99, but it was 50% off the white tags. So, I just think it's so cool. It's such a cute vest, and I'm so excited to wear it this fall and winter. This is completely my style right here. It smells like leather, too. It smells so good. Um, Chad picked this up for himself at Goodwill. This is pretty much what his closet looks like. It's a bunch of flannels and he wears them in the middle of the summer too. His was $5.99, but this was the secret color of the day at Goodwill, so it was also 50% off. And if you don't know, there's always, well, I guess it depends on your Goodwill. Our Goodwills, you have a 50% off color, a 30% off color, and then if you ask an employee, they will tell you the secret color of the day and it's also 50% off, so ask your employees at your goodwill and see if you guys have a secret color um but it was just the brand log by is it h m yeah h m and just a red flannel <laughs> next uh where did i get these the ark no it was goodwill but this was a different goodwill on a different day oh this is my local goodwill actually now i remember it was $4.99, but white at my local store was 30% off. And it's just a pair of Willie Smith. Um, I think they're supposed to be dress pants or like work pants, but I'm not going to wear them like that. They're a straight leg and it's got a checkered pattern to it. I'm probably going to style these with a Doc Martin boot. And probably a shirt like I'm wearing now, just like Stranger Things or some graphic t-shirt. Um, or actually, this sweatshirt would look cute with it too, with a pair of boots. This one is just Alfred Dunner. It's a size medium. This brand's not popular at all for resale, but I love the style of most everything I find of them. It's just this thicker olive green, grayish green like short sleeve sweater and this tucked into those pants would look really really cute with a pair of like uh, moto boots super cute um next 
It's just a slip. <laughs> Nobody get excited. It's just a slip. Um, these were on the 50% off rack at my store. So half of $3.99. And in a few videos ago, it might have been longer. I don't know. I had um, a black LuLaRoe dress that I thrifted. And I really wanted to wear it. But for being LuLaRoe, it was kind of sheer, which I'm kind of surprised. So I haven't worn it yet because I need something to go under it. And so I found a midi length um, slip and it actually fit perfect, which I never find slips that fit perfectly. I normally have to like safety pin them or hike them high up to fit my hips. Um, again, this one is 50% off. And it's by the same brand. Did I say the last brand? I don't think I did. The brand is Olga. <laughs> First lady of under fashions, Olga. <laughs> and this one's just slightly different, but just a slip to go under some dresses. And then lastly, for clothing, I believe, it's just this universal thread size medium, but it, um, Where's this sold? Target. I really, really, really like this for myself. It's just a striped button-up tie waist. And it's slightly cropped, but I think it hits just at the pant line, so it's nothing crazy. And it was $3.99. But I really liked the color and the stripes of it. And that is everything for clothing. Next. I'll just get into the randomness I have sitting next to me. I found these today. They were 99 cents. It was tape shut, salt and pepper shaker set. It was tape shut. So I went ahead and decided to take a gamble on them. So I wasn't sure if they would be broken or not. And there is some chipping on them, but I'm okay with it because they're still really cute. I think it's a cookie in his mouth, but they're little doggies. You can see on his ear, there's a little bit of chipping, but he's still cute. And there's two of them. The other one has more chipping on him. Um, right there on his ear. But I might p see if I can paint over it maybe. Just to help hide it. But I'm not too concerned about it. Like I said, it's just for me. 99 cents. Um, also today at Goodwill, <laughs> I had, um, what is it called? Pot lid holders. <laughs> And it looks like it's really old. Unopened. It's the original packaging. It's like little clip type things you put on your cabinet doors. And then you can hang your pot lids on it. I will try it out. And if I don't like it, I'll pass it on to my mom. Because I'm sure she would use it. Next, I got these at a garage sale. And it's Yogi and Boo Boo. Um, they were 50 cents each. The brand is... Anna Barbara collection. I looked them up on eBay and it kind of looked like the sets were going for about 10 bucks. I got these for me. Um, again, 50 cents each. I don't know if I said that, but I liked them. They're cute. They'll stick with me for a while. Next, I got this at, where did I get you at? Goodwill in my local town, I think. And it cost $1.09 which is a weird price, $1.09. <laughs> I like collecting weird and funny, unique mugs, coffee mugs. This one says number one sweetheart and it's like a caveman dragging off a girl that he just hit in the head with his mallet. I thought it was funny when I first saw it, but the more thought I put into it and like I look at it, like this is a creepy mug. Um thoughts <laughs> I don't understand it exactly it's a little weird um, speaking of weird next is this tile it's a decorative tile that you hang up on the wall and it's got two amigos on it and one of them is pointing to Hollywood I just thought it was funny and random and I'm Mexican and I liked it this will probably end up going on my um, my wicker shelf over there. That's where this will be. I thought it was cute. I peeled off the sticker, but it was also $1.09. I got these at a garage sale. They were 25 cents a piece, and they're just like mugs that have water inside of them. 
and you put them in the freezer and then it keeps your drink cold. I know I'm a little late in the season, but still cool to have. One for me and one for Chad. Okay, um, next is, <laughs> is this thing called press to paste, hands-free toothpaste dispenser. Easy to use, fits virtually all size tubes, no electricity or batteries required. So when the zombie apocalypse happens, me and Chad are set because we're going to have our automated <laughs> um, toothpaste dispenser that requires no electricity and no batteries. I don't know. I know it's a random thing. It was only a dollar and Debbie sold it to me. <laughs> um, I looked it up on eBay because it is new, brand new in packaging. Everything's wrapped up inside and I saved myself two dollars and 41 cents buying this at a garage sale so <laughs> there's that um next this i thought was pretty cool it's this tommy hilfiger backpack it's like a mini backpack feels like it's leather um straps and detailing but the bag is canvas and it has the little tommy hilfiger star and that one a little pouch on front and it actually came with stuff inside of it. Inside it has the, uh, the red. I like Tommy Hilfiger, but I like more of the vintage red, white, and blue. So this will probably end up on Poshmark. It came with this strap, which has absolutely nothing to do with the bag because it doesn't match whatsoever and there's no place to hang it. So that's just garbage. Or I'll give it to one of my nieces. Maybe they can put it on a bag that they have. But it came with a wallet as well. And at first I thought it matched, but it doesn't. This is like the cream and black, and this is black and white. But it's also Tommy Hilfiger. It looks brand new, like never used. It's got the coin portion, and then it opens up. Got all your cards, and you see we got the checkbook section. I kind of like it. The comps for this weren't that great. It was like five to ten dollars. Um, so this might actually just stay with me. I'm not sure yet. But the bag, I'm hoping to get 25 to 30, 35 dollars, I'm not sure yet. But this will be sold. It's cute, I like it, but if it was red, white, and blue, I would have kept it. Did I say how much it was? It was five dollars for both of these together. So that was a good deal, five bucks. Um, I have three more things. I will save the best for last, obviously. Um, we'll go with this one. This was at a garage sale. It was 75 cents. It's this wicker piggy. I like more of the just brown wicker colors, but he's still cute even though someone painted him. I'm not sure if this is how he came or if he's a craft project, but I like him and for 75 cents can't beat it. He will end up on top of there. You can see where I put my duck or my goose, whatever that thing was. I'll probably put a plant inside of him. Okay, next wicker item I got at the Ark, and it was 50% off, so half of $3.99, so he was two bucks. Super cute duck. Yeah, he's a duck. So I think the one up there was a rooster, and this one's a duck. Really good condition, and he's got the cute little feathers on his butt. And it's just so well made. I was trying to point out all the detailing on it. I don't think Chad cared, but like just this bottom um, rim on it. Like look at the detailing on that, how it's connected. It's just so well made. Not everyone appreciates wicker animals. And they should. Okay, the last thing. My most prized possession second prize possession. I think my favorite thing that I own is sitting over there in that basket right there. That little basket is my precious. And I found something to go with my precious. It was 50 cents, best 50 cents I've ever spent in my life. When I first saw it, it was sitting face down like this. And I thought it was a wrestler stuffed animal. So I was going to pass it up, but then I decided I wanted to laugh and I wanted to see the face of the wrestler. Oh no, no, not a wrestler. It was Gollum in his little loincloth. 
I think it's so cool. He's also going to be going on that shelf over there. Um, I just think he's so cool. Um, <laughs> hi, I'm Valerie. I'm 31 and I'm the biggest nerd I know, but look at that. It's so cool. I think he's too creepy to be like a stuffed animal for my bed. Just a little too creepy, but he's definitely shelf worthy. Uh, yeah, that's everything that I got. Thrifting, garage sailing. Um, yeah, I think the only thing that was for sale is the backpack, which I will put in my Poshmark closet. If you want to visit that, you can. It is at Valamilk, and I will have that link down below. I will also have my Instagram, my personal one, linked down below, and you can check out whenever I wear those outfits and how I style them. I put those pictures up there along with my animals, my house or property, my vineyard. Me and Chad live on a vineyard. Um, pictures of Chad almost knock something over um but yeah you can follow me on there as well and i will see you guys in my next video bye